it's it's a tough conversation, right? Because like, I'll just, and just to bring this into like the present day and the culture, like there are people who live in this world, in our culture and in, in our society who are um, experiencing re-traumatization, like racism, living with racism, for instance, is now I obviously can't speak to it from my own embodied experience, but you know, from, from the, the work that I've done and the relationships that I have with people, you know, racism is something that, for instance, that is constantly trauma. It's a constant trauma. It's not, it's an active trauma and it's happening all the time. And there are different phases of working with this stuff, which is like, first, before you can even begin to heal your trauma, you have to stop the active trauma. Right. Yeah. And so this is where it's kind of like, it's a tough conversation because for some people it's about like healing wounds, but for other people, it's like, no, no, we need, we need to stop this so that you nervous system has a moment to breathe. Mm -hmm. Right. So that you can actually find the state of stability. And only when you have a state of stability, can you then begin to excavate and your body is only going to let you excavate what you're ready to excavate. 